Freedom Daily News. U.S. Marine risks his life to expose deadly scandal that could take down entire Democratic Party. Ever since Trump got into office, liberals continue to prove how far they're willing to go in order to bury their dirty little secrets. While many of us believed that no one in D.C. could be more corrupt than crooked Hillary, Debbie Wasserman Schultz is now in contention for the title as America's slimiest politician, as she's now under several investigations, including a person of interest in a murder, and under investigation for helping her Muslim IT worker commit treason against our country. As this woman stands to possibly spend the rest of her life in prison for her crimes, a United States Marine is now coming forward with startling new evidence that could not only take down Wasserman Schultz, but the entire Democratic Party. If you're not familiar with Wasserman Schultz's corrupt antics over the past few months, here's a quick recap. Back in May, shortly after Florida lawyer Burenton J. Wisson and Jr. was set to expose Wasserman Schultz's fraud and visa case in Florida. His dead body mysteriously washed up on a beach just days before he was set to testify. Just like the people Hillary murdered, the case was ruled a suicide even though there was no gun found at the crime scene to explain the gunshot wound that was inflicted in his head. But murder is only half of what this woman is willing to do in order to protect her political interests. Wasserman Schultz has been actively stonewalling the federal investigation into her Muslim IT workers' treason against America. Even though this woman knew that Tim Brent A1 had been taking intel off Congress computers and selling America's top secrets to foreign countries, she's been his accomplice every step of the way. During a recent FBI raid of her home, investigators found these very same laptops that was storing this intel smashed a way for Wasserman Schultz to destroy evidence of her Muslim IT workers' treason against our country. Rather than cooperating to help bring this Pakistani traitor to justice, Wasserman Schultz is now trying to destroy United States Marine Andre Taggart, a witness who providing key evidence in the FBI case against Imran A1. Taggart is now a sergeant with the D.C. Police Department. Andre Taggart alerted the FBI to damaged hard drives and a cache of electronics tied to Imran A1, a former IT specialist for dozens of House Democrats, the Daily Caller reported. A1 is the central figure in a criminal investigation of suspected procurement fraud and violations of the congressional IT network, including diverting data to an off-site server. Wasserman Schultz is now publicly slandering Taggart and calling him a racist Islamophobe continuing to spin the narrative that her precious Muslim is a victim of religious discrimination by law enforcement. The Daily Caller's investigative group interviewed Taggart on Wednesday, where he said it was amazing the lies that Wasserman Schultz is weaving to protect her Muslim traitor. It pisses me off, said Taggart, a black Marine who says he votes Democrat. He said that Wasserman Schultz is devaluing the meaning of genuine discrimination, while putting the entire security of America at risk with her stupid games. I just want to get these, guys, locked up and exposed and now, Tagger told the Daily Caller. The people who facilitated them should also be locked up, as far as I'm concerned. That's when Taggart dropped a bombshell on the entire Democratic Party, saying that they are all working together to protect this Muslim traitor at all costs, while slandering law enforcement officials and federal investigators as being racists, despite the massive amount of evidence against this Muslim. I'm absolutely disgusted with everything going on in the country right now, Taggart said. He then stated he will no longer remain anonymous because of the grave mistake Democrats are making by ignoring a scandal with serious criminal and national security implications. According to insiders, Wasserman Schultz is not taking the probe into her former IT staffer very well. They say she refuses to answer any questions, and was literally running away from reporters when she spotted them coming toward her, the Blaze reported. Wasserman Schultz has also been unhelpful and at times a hindrance to the investigation into the Awans. Senior congressional officials called her lack of cooperation unsettling and suggested the results of the investigation could very well lead to her resignation, the blaze went on. You know it's got to be pretty bad when a black Democrat is risking his entire career to expose Wasserman Schultz and his fellow Democratic colleagues. 
this woman needs to be locked up in prison for helping this Muslim commit treason against our country. Too bad we can't bring back public hangings. I'm sure if traitors were punished the same way as they were 100 years ago, this type of blatant treason towards our country wouldn't even occur. Occur.